look at the work of designer Buffalo Bill Gates. He playfully mashes up characters. He only uses two images. Stephen McMenemy also likes to combine images. He uses a simple but clever effect. Only two photos are used. To raise awareness on the Syrian conflict, Istanbul-based artist Uger Galen created a digital collage series. He showed the stark contrast between the Western world and the destructive chaos of the Middle East. These three artists used the same technique, but for different purposes and intents. Collage, a history on the creative technique of combining and modifying. Images can be combined, retold, and reinterpreted in different ways. Several artists of the past were creative by appropriating work. In the early 20th century, George Brock and Pablo Picasso used mass media with their synthetic cubist collages. These were early appropriations of real-world materials. Max Ernst and Hannah Hoch were associated with the Dada and Surrealist movements around the 1920s. They appropriated images from magazines and objects to create bizarre, irrational artwork. These works are also known as photo montages. Henri Matisse created collages in the last years of his life using a cutout method. He would paint onto paper and then cut them into shapes and arrange them into compositions. Martha Rossler uses juxtaposition from issues of Life magazine in the 60s and 70s, she played with images of war and domestic interiors. She sought to reunite separate worlds and to imply connections between the industries of war and the industries of the home. Romare Bearden may be best known for his collage compositions, which he began creating in the mid-1960s. Bearden's work centers on everyday life, women's experience, the built environment, and the experiences of black men. Scottish artist Eduardo Paolozzi is considered to be one of the pioneers of pop art. His work shows a fascination with popular culture, technology, and the glamour of American consumerism. Richard Hamilton is another well-known pop artist. As middle-class England were struggling in the post-war economy, this famous work was a parody of American materialism. John Stezeker appropriated images found in books, magazines, and postcards. He focused on the concept of portraiture, both as art historical genre and public identity. Using publicity shots of classic film stars, Stezeker splices and overlaps famous faces, creating hybrid icons. Some artists also assembled or collaged objects, such as Joseph Cornell and Kurt Schwitters. Micheline Thomas is best known as a painter, but also creates collage work. Her work looks into femininity, beauty, race, sexuality, and gender. Her work is also known to include rhinestones and enamel. The works can be very large. Arturo Herrera is best known for his cartoonish collages. He uses popular cultural imagery within the language of painting and abstraction. Lou Beach is a writer, commercial, and fine artist. His work is illustrative, surreal, and vibrant. Contemporary artist Jess Trees creates surreal collage works. He uses vintage magazines and books. Using neutral backgrounds, Adam Hale takes simple images out of context and splices them together. He has done work for Apple and Adidas, amongst others. We can't go without mentioning Eric Carle. Painting onto paper, Carl then cut and collaged them into the shapes he wanted for his characters. Collage work can also be abstract. Rex Ray merged design and fine art as a collage artist. He incorporated bright colors, simple defined shapes and patterns. What type of collage will you create? 